Okay, so another great way of um, creating content that you can send out to students if you're doing remote and distant learning is to use the link screen recorder. Now, of course, if you are joining um, your screen via Zoom to a meeting, you could do live lessons using links. In delivery mode, it's fantastic for that. But if you want to create content that you can send out to students that they can watch you know, when they're able to, there is the link screen recorder and it lives here. So when the link screen recorder comes on, it will capture everything that you're doing on the screen. And the great thing is it's also got a microphone that you can toggle on. So you can be giving uh, oral feedback um, and taking a, a kind of snapshot of everything that's going on on the screen at the same time. So if I, as you can see, I've started it recording now. So via the microphone built into the screen, it's picking up my voice and it will record anything I do on the screen. So if I just move that somewhere a little bit out of the way, I'm going to go full screen with this presentation and go into delivery mode. So what I could do now is I could tell the story of Goldilocks and the three bears, Goldilocks skipping through the woods, sneaking into the cottage. Oh no, the three bears have come back. Baby bear just wanted to check on his precious chair there. And of course, Goldilocks is going to sneak through them all, be munching on some porridge and eventually cause lots of mayhem before jumping out of the window and running screaming into the woods. And the link screen recorder will have recorded all of that. Um, if I come out of full screen for a moment, I can even minimize links and the screen recorder is still there. So now I could go to the web and I could search the web and I could demonstrate things to the students at home on the internet and that will all be recorded as well. And for example, I can open up other programs, not just links. So I could start to model some writing for the students. And that will all be recorded too. And then when I've finished the recording, if I press stop, it will come up and it will ask me to save the file. It's an MP4 file. So I could call this one Goldilocks. And save it. And now that will save and I can send it out to students, maybe via WeTransfer or I could put it onto a YouTube channel or onto the school website. So it's a great way of being able to take videos of what you're doing at the screen and send them out to the students at home.